After approximately seven months, Jeffrey Stewart is in custody. The former director of North Fork Area Transit was arrested over 1,200 miles from his former employer, surrendering to authorities at the border of Texas and Mexico Friday morning. His arrest was confirmed by a Madison County Sheriff's deputy on scene in Texas. Stewart, who is accused of embezzling up to a million dollars from the transit operation, is expected back in Northeast Nebraska Friday night. But before his arrest, News Channel Nebraska got a chance to talk to Stewart, who called NCN from Mexico on Thursday. On Thursday, the Madison County Sheriff's Office mistakenly sent out a press release indicating Stewart had been arrested at the border. In a 59-minute phone call from Stewart to News Channel Nebraska after that release, Stewart informed NCN that he did indeed plan to turn himself into authorities Friday morning, something which was made official less than 24 hours later. Uh, number one, I've never been running from the Madison County Sheriff. I did not come in contact with them until recently, about two weeks ago, at which point I have been working with them to arrange uh, turning myself in to get this matter resolved. Stewart said he had originally planned on surrendering July 6th, citing logistical issues on the Madison County Sheriff's Office as the reason that the date was pushed back to July 14th, something that has not been confirmed by the Madison County Sheriff's Office. Stewart said he left Norfolk at the end of last year while dealing with a mental health crisis, noting that he intended to take a leave of absence from his job at Norfolk Area Transit due to personal issues. I took a leave of absence in December, to start off with, I took a leave of absence in December in writing to take care of some personal health issues. That's why I was gone when all of this went down. Conveniently, I was out of town when all of this went down. And from that point forward, it just seems it's been a roller coaster of, well, he did this, 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 all preceding any court process or any information gathered from myself. North Fork Area Transit was unable to make payroll on December 16th, requiring the organization to seek almost $90,000 from the North Fork City Council. The service was forced to cease operations on January 6th due to a lack of funds. Operations resumed in the spring after a successful fundraising campaign brought in $1 million, $500,000 from the community, and a matching $500,000 donation from the Johnny Carson Foundation. Stewart said the funds that had been reported missing from North Fork Area Transit had to do with longer wait times for reimbursement from the Nebraska Department of Transportation. He claimed that after an audit review of NDOT's invoicing process for transit agencies, reimbursement began to take much longer. He said that coincided with the transit agency's growth, leading to a shortage of cash on hand. Among the documents filed in Madison County Court as part of Stewart's case are bank statements with alleged purchases made by Stewart, including a series of 13 purchases at two different casinos over a five-day period in April of 2022. Those alleged purchases totaled almost $29,000. When asked about those specific purchases, Stewart said he would like to speak with the county attorney first and see the charges line by line before commenting. When asked if he had ever made purchases at the Hard Rock Casino or Prairie Flower Casino, Stewart stated that he had made, quote, authorized transactions at those locations. <laughs> authorized transactions are any transaction that are previously approved or transactions that fit underneath a certain threshold, whether it be uh, any transit agency in the United States has what they call entertainment. Uh, line items, which would be if we have a potential client uh, selling us vehicles or we have a specific vendor selling us hardware or equipment to take them out to dinner or to pay for their hotel for when they come into town, it's perfectly a normal practice in our line of work. So again, I don't want you guys to turn around and say, he admitted to this. Stewart said that before departing North Fork Area Transit, he had sought an internal audit from Steve Ramos, who serves on the board of North Fork Area Transit and also serves as North Fork City Engineer. When asked if Stewart's account that an internal review showed the finances were clear before his departure, Ramos declined to comment, noting that the case remained an active investigation. From North Fork, for News Channel Nebraska, I'm Pat Jansen.